we, mo we mobilized February 10th in 41, and, and March, March 1st, we got loaded on a train, went to Louisiana for a year's training. And we was out on maneuvers in the swamps and that. And December 7th came, that's uh, Pearl Harbor Day. And then uh, that, that was the 7th of December, and the 1st of, 1st of January we was on a train going to Fort Dix, New Jersey. We were there until February 17th. We were on a ship going to Northern Ireland. And we were there about five, six months, and then went, another ship went to Scotland. And then uh, in October, I think the 17th, we left Scotland. We stopped at Liverpool, England one night and we uh, left there and went to North Africa. We was on the water about oh, two weeks or better. We was waiting on a convoy to come from the States. We was back and forth in there and, uh, and then uh, and we made the initial landing November 8, 1942 and I was on the first wave. And we uh, it was, uh, wasn't, wasn't much action on the beach but after we got in we go going and start street fighting. That's when we lost two men there, one from a sniper and one from a 20 millimeter. I got their pictures in there. And one was from, one was from Paul Dennison from up above. And Paul Dennison from Wyota and Stanford Johnson, he was from here. They both got killed the first day we landed. And then after that we went, got that all straightened out and we got into our barracks and stuff. And my squad got the honor of, that was Allied Force Headquarters in Algiers. General Mark Clark was the man, head man. And we got the honor of being the uh, uh, guard duty over the hotel and him. And while we was there, I got to be his bodyguard for two weeks. We went, uh, then got in the Jeep, uh, Jeep one day and went to the airport with uh, Clark and we picked up Eisenhower. And then that's the last I seen them. They come home and they went in that they just disappeared. And then the rest we just then then it was another January first, we went to the front lines in Tunisia. And uh we that uh that was where we was captured there. Uh, have you seen the patent? Yes. You, the first word in there, Casserine, that's where I captured. Kasserine Pass. Kasserine Pass, yeah. And some of them were captured in Fayad Pass. And then, but uh, that's what we was captured in. They, they uh, took us and we was in, in a great big round wire pen. Now we call it a bullpen. And a, a plane landed out there and there come a car and it was Rommel. He was in it. And they come and picked up Rommel and took off. And then after that we we walked to a train, went from the train to Tunis, Tunis, uh, and then we uh, we was there a while. And then they flew us from Tunis across the Mediterranean. Uh, the Germans did. Uh, we landed in Sicily, and some of the other guys went into Naples. We was we was in uh, we was in Palermo, Sicily, and the Americans were bombing us at the time. We was in there, and then from there we went another train to the other coast to a little town of Messina. We went across there in the, in the ferry boat and then we ended up in Naples. And then we got, I don't know how long we was there, and they loaded us on a train. And these box, these box cars was 40 and 8. And they had 40 men and 8 horses. And they put about 75 to 80 F guys in one of them. And uh, we went from Naples up through Italy, through the Brenner Pass, through Austria and Czechoslovakia, up in the, the uh, that's a uh, Stalag 7A, as that, uh, Mooseburg. That's where we got the dog tags and stuff like that. I've got them in there. And from there we went to uh, another train up to Furstenberg. That's where we stayed two years. Two years. And there, and then we left uh, at uh, January 31st. Yeah, that'd be about the first of February. The rest, the Germans come in, got us all out. We could hear them firing. The Russians was coming, 
and they got us out and we marched, we marched for eight, eight or nine days over to Luchenwald, south of Berlin. And then uh, we was in that, well, on that march, went through this town that was uh, all through uh, uh, stormtroopers. They, uh, they had rolled horses. And they, we was on two lanes in the road and they uh, <coughs> rode up and down the road. And one of the guys stopped to fix his pack. This, this one, this one SS trooper up and shot him right like that. And it never stopped. If we'd have stopped, it'd have shot us. And we just kept right on going. Some guy threw the coat over him and kept on going. Well, we got there. And they brought prisoners in from all over the dang country. And then uh, we had uh, slept great big, big tents full of straw. And they full of grayback lice. The lice were about the size of a match head. Just lousy with them. And uh, we'd scratch all night and then pick them off through the day. <laughs> and we had uh, one or two water faucets in there for about 10,000 men in there. And then, uh, then uh, well, then the Russians start. They come in. They come in with tanks and road, de road defenses down and everything. And uh, we lived with the Russians about three weeks before, before the Americans got in to take even. The Russians wanted to keep us because they were going to get they want they want to get a bounty for us, you know. And, uh, but the Americans come in with a bunch of six for six trucks and stop down in the in the forest down there, and we all went down there and got in there. There's some guys from Glenwood, six or seven guys from Glenwood went with went with the Russians to the and then and they went. And they got home, but they had to go clear through Russia to the Black Sea and all that. But they got finally got home. Holy cow! And I knew I knew some I knew most them guys. Yep. Yeah. And then uh, we ended up in uh, uh, Camp Camp Lucky Strike at La Harve, France, and that's where we uh, that was where we loaded out on the ships to come home. They only had one harbor open because the rest is all bombed shut. It only take one ship at a time in there and that so. That's the way. That's about it, and we finally got home. Yeah. Yep. So, so you were you pretty at, at first when the Russians came in? Were you pretty happy to see them? Oh yeah, yeah. They they treated us pretty good. Do they? Yeah. They were. They were Mongols. Okay. You know what I'm talking yeah, about? Yeah, yeah. Mongolia, but they had uh, uh, Russian Russian officers, and they uh, they used hand grenades to fish with. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, but there, there was a little lake there close by, and they drinking vodka and throwing hand grenades in the lake. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And then after that, we got we finally got home. I got uh, I got this. We uh, I spent two weeks in the Hot Springs, Arkansas, recuperating, and then we went from there to Port Port Chaffee, uh, Arkansas, Fort Smith, and. Uh, that's where I got my discharge, and then we come home from there. Yeah. And so we got, uh, and uh, I think it was 11, uh, down to Kansas, I can't think of that camp where he's in. And there's a, we all lined up, had a picture, and the Des Moines Register was down there. And I was in, down in the corner, and my aunt found that paper and brought it home, and they knew I was home. <laughs> and every every day, my mom and girl stopped at that depot till I got home. And I made it, I guess. <laughs> That's about it. Now, when when you were in the when you were in the camps in the German camps, okay. Did they? Did you hear any news of who was winning? Oh yeah, oh yeah. We had we had uh, uh, we had radios, and uh, uh, I had a. One guy would come around to each barracks and with them, they'd put out some guards out there so none of the Germans could get in. And he'd, he'd give us the news and he'd go to another in that way. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it was a transistor radio. I forget what the heck they were. Mm -hmm. But uh, they, it, the news come from England. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Radio is probably something you weren't supposed to have either, was it? What? A radio. Oh, yeah. yeah. But then uh, eventually, they we had them hid under. They were under these beds, and we pulled the bed out. And that, but only one barracks had it. It was down there. I think the 18 B had it down there, and uh, 
somewhere, sometime, the Germans found out about it, and they, they got it. But it wasn't long after that war was over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, there's a lot more there to tell, and I just can't come up with all the time. I understand.